Hello folks and welcome to this week's Productivity Enhancer. Today we're going to take a look at some SolidWorks utilities. In order to activate your SolidWorks utilities, just go up to Tools, down to Add-ins, and make sure that SolidWorks Utilities is selected. If it's not, then go ahead and put a check mark next to the box and click OK. So for this video, I'm just going to use two parts that are provided for you by SolidWorks. They're called Bracket A and Bracket B. So I'm just going to open up Bracket A, and then I'll open up Bracket B. I've already had these parts open today, so they're in my recent parts area when I click on file. However, if you'd like to practice and use these specific parts, you can do so by navigating to SolidWorks, Samples, Tutorial, and SolidWorks Utilities, and then they're right here, bracket A and B. So the first utility we're going to take a look at is the Compare Features utility, and that's found under Tool, Compare, Features. By clicking on the compare feature, we have a little task manager over here that allows us to select either bracket A or B. Those are both of the parts that are open. So for the reference document, we're going to choose bracket A. And the reference document is the original document. Usually that's the one that you're going to want to compare against. The modified document, bracket B, has a few modifications. If you're not exactly sure which came first, you can always find that file in a folder, right click on it and see when it was created. However, we have a handy dandy A and B to know which one was the reference and which one was the modified document here. If we take a look, we can see that this compare tab is pinned down. If for some reason it isn't and you happen to click in the graphics area to make that disappear, that tab is still there. All of our information is saved, bracket A and bracket B are still the reference and modified documents and we can then pin it back down. So before we run this comparison, we want to go under Options. We want to make sure that our linear units is set to millimeters, which it is. Our decimal place is 2, and our angular units is set to degrees. And we also want two decimal places here. Now all these units may change for your specific comparison, so make sure you're aware of which units you need and how many decimal places are going to be necessary. So next we go and grab our Features tab, and here we have our Unique Features, which is set to red and our modified features which is set to yellow. Those are the default colors, however there's probably no reason to change those so you can just leave those as is. But if you do want to change them, you can change them to whichever color you have in the palette here. And then you can always reset the colors by hitting reset colors. Okay, so now we're ready to run that comparison so we click OK, click Run Comparison. And now it's going to compare those features against each other. And as you can see, once that comparison is run, both parts are tiled, so we can see both of them. And in our Compare Task Manager, we have a list for features under bracket A, and we have a list for bracket B. And then we can see which features are unique based on the color. We have red for unique features, and modified as yellow. We can also click on each one of these, and it will highlight that specific feature, and we can see how it's been changed. And I don't need to run through every single one of these, but you can you get the idea. We can also click in our bracket B features and we get the same exact results. We see how that feature was when it was unique and then we see how it has been modified. So now we want to save this comparison report. So we want to keep colors on close. That'll make sure that our unique and modified features are still delineated. And then if we go up to options and click on the features tab, we can click on report and then we see current and specified views. Uh, if it's set to only current view, then you can change all of those by adding and removing views. So let's say that we want the right and trimetric view, hit control. And then we can add both of those to our report. Click OK. Click OK again. And then when we save our report, we can change that report folder name. and browse to wherever you want it saved. It is currently saved where I want it. And then if we click View Report on Save, it'll open it up in our web browser so we can view it. So click Save, and it'll run that comparison report and open it up right here in our browser. And our report has all kinds of information, including the date and who it was created by. And then we have the comparison info down here under Summary. Number of unique features, we have two on our reference part, one on our modified part, etc., etc. And then if we want to go down to our modified features and take a look, we have the option just by clicking on each one of those features and it'll take us right down and show us the parameter, the reference part, the modified part, and any remarks that are associated with that feature. We can also go down to the model view and we have images of our model saved in that current view that we had and the right view 
and the trimetric view that we added in the options later on. So all of that information is going to be in that report and it's handy dandy right there for you. You can send that to whomever you need or just keep it for your own records. So next we're going to go ahead and run a geometry comparison. The geometry comparison is really simple. We just close that feature comparison box, go up to tools, compare, and this time we want to compare geometry. Just like in the feature comparison, we want to select bracket A for our reference document and bracket B for our modified document. And you can see the geometry comparison is selected here instead of feature. So again, we go up to our options and we want to make sure that all of our units are correct. We're just going to keep the same units as before. And then under the geometry tab, we have these three options. Check documents before compare geometry, perform face comparison, perform volume comparison. Chances are you're going to want to just keep all three of those checked. However, check documents before compare geometry runs the SOLIDWORKS check function to find invalid surfaces and edges. Perform face comparison compares uh, faces between the two parts and perform volume comparison allows you to just compare the volume between the two parts. Under our color tab we have a few more parameters that we need colors assigned for and you can see that they all have default colors which can be changed at your whim. We're just going to leave them as the default though. And you can also change the tolerance of the position and the angle and by setting these somewhere in the middle it'll just help that comparison run a little quicker. So once you have that set somewhere in the middle you can click OK and go ahead and run that geometry comparison. So now in addition to material removed and material added, we have a common volume comparison down here as well. And by clicking show material removed, you can see all of this material was removed from the original. All of this material was added from the original. And the volume that these two have in common is shown right here. We can also see the face comparison. And by clicking show unchanged faces, you can see that we have all of these faces unchanged. The unique faces are all in red. Modified faces are all in yellow. And again, we're going to want to keep those colors on close. So when we run that report, again, we're going to want those same views. So click on Options, under Geometry, under Report. We can add and remove views. We're going to remove all these and select Right and Trimetric and add those. Click OK, click OK. And now we can save that geometry report and we'll just call it Geometry Report Bracket A and B. And it's already saved to that same location, so we'll view report on save, click save, and that report will be run. And once it's finished, it'll open up in our browser. We have the same information from the features report and the geometry report, including uh, when it was made, who made it, all of the comparison information, and all of the individual comparisons made based on geometry. And then we also have the images. Here we have the current view. Then we have the right view and the trimetric view. So comparing the geometry report is very similar to comparing the feature report. Just a few different things to keep track of. And the last utility I want to take a look at is called the feature paint. So let's go ahead and close this comparison. And I've pinned the feature paint toolbar right here to the features taskbar. And you can do that by customizing your toolbar. So I'm just going to click on it and the feature paint tool allows you to copy features and paint them onto similar features. You can copy and paint features within a part or you can also do it from different parts. In this case we're going to copy from hole 1 in bracket B and by clicking on that it shows up under copy properties from and if we click on it in that box you can see all the features that are able to be copied from hole 1. Now we're going to paste those properties to let's see holes 1, 2, 3, and 4 on bracket A. You don't need to hit control, you just need to click on them and they'll show up in that Paste Properties 2 box. And if we click on each one of those individually, you can see the feature properties for each one. And you can see Copy From and Paste 2 right here. All that information is available for you. But once we have that feature chosen that we want copied and we have the features where we want those painted, just hit Apply and it will copy those features and paint them right onto those whole features in bracket A. So the feature paint tool is pretty simple, but it's actually a really quick way to get features from one part and apply them to a different one. So that's a run through of the SOLIDWORKS utilities. You can go ahead and try this on your own with these exact parts, or you can create your own parts and try to run through it on your own. Either way, I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching this week's Productivity Enhancer. Until next time.